On a number of occasions, we have covered the unexplainable remnants left by a civilization which once undoubtedly flourished here upon this planet. A true mysterious history. The most notable and presumably the evidence which will remain upon our Earth for the longest being the unimaginably enormous megalithic structures which rest in many areas of Earth. These structures built using stones so large, we cannot explain how they were moved. The quarry, known as Yang Shan, is such an impressive example of this lost knowledge and or technique for moving these stones, we felt it deserved an in-depth discussion. What is special about Yang Shan is the fact that it was seemingly abandoned, quite possibly due to cataclysm. In the midst of actually cutting some of the largest stone megaliths ever found on Earth, revealing in all its glory just how these stones were indeed detached from the Earth's bedrock, a question which had also remained unanswered for many years. Yang Shan also reveals invaluable clues to how they could have been moved. The star of the show, an enormous steel weighing 16,250 metric tons, disputed to have been cut during the reign of the Yongkou Emperor, the third ruler of the Ming Dynasty in China, reigning from 1402 to 1424. However, although academia is seemingly willing to approach such subjects with an air of arrogance, often due to its in-depth accurate understanding of said era, it inevitably becomes unstuck once one begins to explore their knowledge or indeed explanation of how these enormous stones were intended to be moved. Academia's illogical explanation of the site is as follows. In 1405, the Yongle Emperor ordered the cutting of a giant statue in this quarry, for use in the Ming Xiaoling Mausoleum in dedication of his deceased father. Three separate pieces were being cut, the rectangular base, the body, and the head. After most of the stone cutting work had been done, the architects conveniently realized that moving stones from the quarry to Ming Xiaoling and installing them there would not be physically possible. The body weighed 8,799 tons, and the steel's apparent head weighed 6,118 tons. According to quote, experts, it would have stood 73 meters tall. A supposed legend attached to this possible fallacy has it that workers who failed to produce the daily quota of crushed rock of at least 33 shang would be executed on the spot. But is this the real story of Yang Shan Quarry? Or could there possibly be a more interesting history attached to this site, and indeed its accompanying stones? Within Baalbek, one of the countless examples found around the world, there are stones well over a thousand tons in weight, which seem to have been effortlessly placed atop one another, using technologies or methods unexplained by these so-called experts. Is it really that unthinkable to believe that they could indeed once shift these enormous stones found in Yangshan? Not only move them, but lift them on top of one another? Fortunately, more and more people are beginning to look at this exact possibility. And with the mounting evidence in support of far greater antiquity surfacing every day, it is only a matter of time before these sites are truly revealed for what they actually once were.